Welcome back to The Real Story. If the GOP race comes down to a brokered convention, is there any way to actually buy yourself delegates? We're going to answer that in a moment as we hear Donald Trump say the convention rules don't phase him. But even for the politicians they run, at least they're out on the line. And then you see the dishonesty. You see where I won Louisiana. And then I find out that I'm not supposed to get as many delegates as a person that I beat. What kind of stuff is that? And somebody said, well, there's a rule and another rule. And I don't care about rules, folks. I go out, I campaign, we win. We win. We get the delegates. Right? Joining me now is Ken Gross, an election law specialist at Skadden and a former associate general counsel of the Federal Election Commission. Ken, you know the rules, right? Yeah, there's <laughs> lots of them. There's, there's lots of them. They're not only that, but they're not clear. <laughs> they're, not, they're not clear. You're exactly right. They're ambiguous. There's tons of them. There's different runs for every state. And so the big question today is whether or not you can actually buy yourself delegates. Can you curry favors with them in order to get their vote, yes or no? Yes, you can curry favors, but we have to define what a favor is first. Uh, but certainly you can curry favors. There's horse trading that's going to be going on for sure. Okay, so let's look at some of the things that these candidates will be able to do with the delegates. So, delegates can't accept funds or contributions from corporations for nationals, labor organizations, or federal government contractors, uh, but they are expressly allowed to raise funds for their travel to the convention and expenses there as long as they are not provided by prohibited sources. What, like, what would be a prohibited source? Do you know? Yeah, the ones you just mentioned, corporations, okay. federal contractors, farm money. All right, yeah. potential delegates should expect to pay three to six grand on convention expenses alone. Okay, so if Ted Cruz or Donald Trump or John Kasich said to the delegates, uh, my campaign will help you pay to come to Cleveland this summer. They can do that, right? Yeah, it probably won't come from the candidates. It could come from, of course, the party committees, or it could come from other individuals. It doesn't have to come from Ted Cruz or Donald Trump. It'll come from their supporters saying, yep, we'll pay your uh, transportation, lodging, and that type of thing. All right. So the spokesperson, one of them for Donald Trump, said this. We're not offering seats on the Trump airplane, airplane or anything like that. Uh, but mm, it could get a little dicey, couldn't it, if you really, really want these delegates? It will get dicey. Uh, there's no question about it. I don't think you're going to see brown paper bags, or at least I hope we don't, stuff with cash. It won't be that bad. Uh, but in terms of, uh, you know, offering uh, little benefits and favors and perhaps possible positions well, or who's, opportunities who's gonna down the Who's going to be watching over that? Who's going to be watching over that to make sure everything's on the up and up? Well, the, the party rules don't regulate this. This is actually, in many cases, state law. So someone's going to have to be tattling on somebody else in order for this to come to the fore. Or, you know, the conventions are full of reporters and people with cameras uh, with microphones on them, so it could be picked up in that fashion. Okay, what about this rules committee? Because suddenly we're all talking about the rules committee that nobody ever paid attention to for the most part. 112 right. people, a man and a woman from every state and U.S. territory. Could the GOP nomination come down to that committee? Yes, uh, it's turning out that this committee could be crucial in many ways. There are rules such as you have to win eight states. Uh, there are other rules about uh, the, whether, the can, whether the delegates are uh, bound and how many uh, rounds they're bound for. Uh, they could be in for a change. I think it may be an overstatement to say there's going to be some kind of sea change and the full convention would have to approve it. But... Even subtle changes can influence the outcome of this election. The stakes could not be higher. No doubt. Uh, Ken Gross, thank you so much for your time. Sure.